Hello everyone, welcome to Lever Guns 50. Today we're shooting the most powerful lever action. This is the 1886 Winchester in caliber 50 110. It can produce up to 6,000 foot pounds of muzzle energy, but that's not what we're exploring today. Now you can also shoot it subsonic with little bitty loads that uh, are plenty good enough to kill a deer with, but they, they have no recoil. And right now today we got this butt pad on it this thing is gel filled I'll try to leave a link down below where you can look that up but today we're shooting these hydro shock stabilized bullets or hydro stabilized bullets this is compared to a Barnes uh, banded bullet this Barnes is 535 and this is a 400 grain bullet I'm not going to name the brand of these because these things are very expensive and I'm not getting paid for this like five dollars a piece so uh stay tuned we're going to shoot them into that ballistic wet pants and uh check them out and see how well it does you want to take a look at this gun look at that look at that back side on there all right y'all stay tuned all right we're going to shoot the barnes bullet first I'm going to shoot it here on the right, and then uh, the other bullet on the left. There went the Barnes bullet. There went the Barnes bullet. Goes this bullet. Let's see how good it goes through there. Right, here goes this bullet. Let's see how good it goes through there. All right, let's check him out. off in here can't really see where the bullet barns bullet right here stabilized bullet right here now what I want you to see make sure that's the barns bullet make sure you can see in there that's the Hydro stabilized bullet, a lot bigger hole, just a little tiny hole. Let's uh, continue. All right. So that's two. That's two pair of pants. That's gotten a lot. Let me make sure you can see this. Get a lot bigger. And that's pretty. A lot of devastation there compared to the barns. So let's continue. Sorry about that on and off, but I'm just trying to make sure you can see what I'm seeing. I've had a few problems making this video and I want to make sure this one I catch all the footage there and there that one actually hit a button this is I've already done this multiple times but the camera wasn't aimed right wasn't focused right I'm trying to make sure you guys can see this still pretty devastating on this side over here and if you look at how it comes out like that this right here is the where the barns bullet all the 
going a long ways. Both of them. It's starting to shrink down. It's getting about to the size of the barns. Not really naming those bullets because they're so expensive. I just feel like I don't want to necessarily advertise for somebody that charges that much when I'm not getting nothing off of it. I'm not saying I need to get something off of it, but I don't know. They, that, them bullets are too expensive regardless. But I wanted to see if they're, you know, if they're worth it. Okay, I would say that the barns is probably starting to tumble because it's getting slightly bigger, although you can barely get your finger in there still. It's a little bit, barns is a little bit bigger at this point. I'm not saying it's tumbling, I don't know. I, I would say it's, it probably is tumbling because that's a big, that's big now. But they're both still going. Now the thing about the stabilized bullet is it's supposed to stay stable and not tumble or anything. Don't know if it's going to do all that. Still going though. It's a lot lighter than that barns. And you saw the nose of its weird shape. It's not pointed. I uh, just heard something. I think they're both still going though. There's that one. The barns actually had less cloth to go to because it's over that way. Yeah, that one's still going. Let's, let's double check. Where's it over there? We got two stacks of clothes going here. Hmm. Still going. Not sure what happened to the barns. I may have to go back and find it. You know, it knocked the logs off. It might have. It might have went all the way through. We'll check. We'll check in a minute. So it's still going. Still going. Right there she is. Now she is sideways at the end. But I wonder how slow she got before she turned sideways. There's that bullet. Well, let's see if we can find that Barnes bullet. I'm thinking it might have eased out through the side. So this is, this is all the ones that this right here, two stacks of them that, that high. Okay, it did not come through anymore. I can really see them. It's not really looking like the barns did either. See it down here on the ground. This bullet does not look like it was hit. Although that log is knocked off. But. Alright, I'm going to go back through here and see if we can find it. Almost thought I had it. I heard something while ago fall down there. I never did see what it was. I'm gonna go through these and look and and uh I'll get back. Oh there it is right there. Hot dog. Well that's that's way back up in here. Hot dog. 
I don't know how we missed it. It must have been up in this close here. So when it started ripping sideways, you can see the marks on the side of it right here. It must have stopped. I don't know how I missed it, but apparently it was on the bottom side of this close. And uh, when I laid it there, it must have fell out of it. This is a surprise to me. I did not expect that. So the other one went a lot, went foot through more clothes. That's amazing. So here this one is.